Welcome back to Charlie's Guitars. Today we have a 1961 Gibson Melody Maker. Still the single cut, so this is the uh, typical Les Paul style here. You have your alligator skin, original uh, soft case. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard, but it's not. It's not what I would take it to a gig in, anyways. Uh, all your latches are functioning just fine here. Got one, two, three. Yeah, three latch case with handle. It's actually a pretty sturdy handle. I like that one. And then inside is this gorgeous Melody Maker. Once again, it's the most desirable Melody Maker because it's only a single cut, not the double cutaway. A lot of people like to make a poor man's junior out of these where you either can put in, I think it's Seymour Duncan has a... Uh, P90 size single coil that fits right in here without any extra routing or if you really just want to go for the whole dog-eared thing you could also do that but uh, surprisingly as is this pickup sounds really good uh, I was very impressed uh, I had a 65 melody maker once the double cut that's red and that original pickup sounded terrible but this one actually sounds pretty good, so you don't actually even have to replace that. There's the original badge for the case. Uh, this lid compartment has ripped off, has initially been attached right there. And these are what I believe to be the original tuners. It looks like you're missing the uh, thing that goes over them, though. So, obviously the tuners have been replaced, but everything else appears to be original on this beauty. Let's take a quicker look at this guitar here. Once again, 1961 Gibson Melody Maker, single cut in a two-tone sunburst. We'll look at the headstock here. Uh, this guitar is in vintage condition. It has wear just about everywhere. Uh, so pay attention here. On both sides of the headstock, you have some finish missing. That's likely where it was uh, hanging from a hanger. But you have finish checking all over the face of the guitar here. You can see that there. So it has that really nice vintage look to it. Uh, the nut has been replaced. I just glued that one down. There's a little bit of residue there from the glue when it was seeping out once I put tension back on the neck. But it wasn't glued down, so I went ahead and did that when I oiled and cleaned the frets. Awesome dark Brazilian rosewood fretboard here. I have, Once again, I just oiled this, so it's looking good. Uh, it might be possible this one was refretted. I'm not 100% sure, because I've actually never had one of these in before. However, these are very, well, in my opinion, pretty tall frets. And uh, they have very little to no wear on them. So I can't say for sure if it was a refret. However, in the light here, you can see there's a lot of marks by the frets on the fretboard here. So at the very least, they've been worked on, and not necessarily professionally, because they left a lot of divots here by the frets. However, that doesn't affect playability. Uh, the actual fret job itself is good. It's very playable. Here is the uh, top of the guitar. Everything in here is stock. Even the knobs, which usually get pulled off and sold. You have a few nicks and dings. That's probably the worst ding. But you have finish checking all over the face of the guitar, which is uh, gorgeous. It it looks the way you'd want your vintage guitar to look. See, there's a ding there. And there's some uh, picking smudges right here that I wasn't able to get off. Onwards to the back of the guitar. Serial number 1 space 0350. Some wear and tear along here. And once again, these are brand new tuners, so they will... Uh, work very fine for you. Sometimes the old ones can get a little bit tough to turn. Once again, finish checking all over, just how uh, 
It happens. No major nicks and dings in the neck, besides maybe that one, but that's not even that major. Gorgeous back here. Ah, looks really good. I, I like the uh, mahogany look. But once again, lots of wear and tear. And finish checking all over. So, if you're in the uh, market, instead of like a... I guess this is about the same price as a used standard. Why don't you get something that's vintage and try that out? This has been Trogley's Guitars. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Trogley's, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That's where we can discuss my best price available, as well as answer any questions you might have. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.